Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. And in this video today, I'd like to share with you probably one of my most favorite projects that we've done ever since we've been, been in business now going on three years. This is a 5KW ground mount solar array. And this is done with ET solar panels that are 250 watt modules. And then with Unirac uh, mounting for a ground mount. And now this is all done to spec, to the blueprints, to the letter, per the customer's requirement on a 30 degree till. Um, now, before I get into all the nuts, bolts, and screws of this, I'd just like to say really quickly that it only took me and my wife three days to do this for the customers. And we're a small mom and pop. I'm not saying that to be cocky. Um, just a quick backstory: this customer had to deal with multiple solar installers come out and, you know, just pull them around. I'm not trying to bash anybody. One even got, come out, I think, two or three different times over the course of a year and never could get nothing accomplished with them. They called us, we come out three days later uh, in time frame and they got a ground mount done with 5KW feeding solar at their house. So I don't know what more to say other than if you trust us to do your work, this is what you'll get quality work done. Um, underneath here, if we step out of the wind, I apologize if the, if the wind is uh, blowing into uh, the microphone today. It is a little gusty out here. Um, as you can see here, very structurally sound. Um, it does have cross member um, with, with a particular layout we done here. It's got the additional cross member protection. Um, everything's grounded out down to its own separate ground rod additional out here. Um, the wires feed in and we'll show you the inlet into the structure later. Um, we're still going to neaten up just a little bit more on the MC4 cables, but the, um, you know, this is rock solid structure, uh, heavy duty concreted into the ground. I just, I'm really paranoid about structural integrity. So we wanted to make sure that this is made with rigid two inch pipe. So, um, heavy duty schedule. So, I mean, everything's going to be here probably long after I'm long gone. A man leaves a legacy behind in life. And this is the kind of legacy me and my wife want to leave behind for our company and for our business. Something that's quality that the customer's proud of. Um, now, the landscaping on this, just a quick note, if you have us do any ground mount solar for you, um, if you buy the landscaping material while we're out for you working and finish your solar array, we'll gladly landscape around for you to save you having to pay somebody to come out and do that um, afterwards or you do it yourself. This customer just wanted their sod back to normal, so we just put some straw down afterwards. There's still a little bit of that to finish up. But now, the last thing I'd like to share before we go inside is that as we were designing this, um, as far as where to put it in the yard for the customer, based on what they already wanted, the teal and um, the layout, what we've done is because of where this shading will start in the evening, um, it doesn't matter even if we went further over, pretty much, what we've done is we made sure to break this out so that actually in segmentation, the, the series that we've done on the panels, it only starts in a third, then they lose two thirds, and then finally late of the evening, the last third of the power stops. And the really neat thing about this is, is we broke that up across the array too, that it's actually feeding two different solar generators inside the house, which you'll see in a minute. So there's always power feeding and fighting in until the last minute that they can't get any anymore. And so I thought that was a really nice strategy that um, that's working out. And so with that said, we'll walk inside and uh, I'm sorry, we'll walk up the house. I'll show you the inlet into the house. And then we'll go inside and look at the solar generators and wrap this up. Just a quick note as we walk up to the house, um, you know, as far as every nut, bolt and screw that goes into something like this, we're, we've got it down to a science nowadays that we can get this from our vendor, Hurricane Wind Power. Uh, you can check them out at hurricanewindpower.com. We can get this stuff for you dirt cheap. And, you know, we don't ch upsell charge for parts. We let you purchase your stuff direct uh, wherever you like, for that matter, as long as it's UL listed or good quality stuff. And, you know, all we want is our labor. So with that, that also kind of brings a big cost reduction to, you know, an install like this right here. So just a quick note on that, you know, we can save you a ton of money as far as materials go as well. So guys, here is the input feed into the structure um, going in there. And that's that's all the PV runs uh, coming in, very neat up to the side of the house. And from there, we'll step inside and I'll show you uh, where that transitions to EMT um, conduit and then onto the combiner box. Okay guys, so now we're inside the structure and I'm gonna start actually at the solar generator units and you can see here the battery's fully charged up. Um, and this is power ready units, okay, power ready systems. Um, you want info on that, we can help get you the info on that as well. Um, 
Now, right here, we have the um, solar going into the feeds, all the breaker protection in place. And right here is the combiner box, EMT conduit coming straight in. And here is the other solar generator as well. Um, and so both of these go up to the transfer switches that handle all the uh, transfer on the loads and everything. And uh, yeah, I mean, just a rock solid uh, solar install, one of my absolute favorites. So guys, if you wanna go off grid, make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com. We will help make your dreams a reality. And as always, until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.